In case you played and missed it, both teams have arrived in Cape Town ahead of Thursday's third test at New Orleans. The Australians, they trained in the morning and all eyes were on a pair of injured Mitchells, Callum. That's right, Sam. We knew about Mitch Marsh's minor groin injury coming out of that second test match. The good news for the tourists is that he batted, he fielded, he had a bit of a light bowl today. We expect him to ramp things up ahead of Thursday. The one we didn't know about was Mitch Stark. The Big Quicks carrying a bit of a calf complaint. He didn't bowl today, but the word out of the Aussie camp is that he will definitely have a run through at the main session tomorrow. The Proteus trained in the afternoon. Two new squad additions, Dwayne Olivier and Chris Morris, joined the squad. However, there was a late starter for the Proteus and Callum, a significant one. Indeed there was, Sam. KG Rabada rocked up about halfway through his side's training session after a six-hour appeal hearing to try and get that two-test ban overturned. The Judicial Commissioner now has 48 hours to make a final verdict, so we just play the waiting game. But the Australians, they're preparing for every possibility. You know, we're a pretty well drilled team. We prepare really well, um, try and make sure as a, as a group um, we don't leave any stone unturned. So, um, yeah, we'll definitely prepare for him, that's for sure. Finally, there was a special guest at Proteus Train today. Young Abraham de Villiers out there with Dad AB. That's right, Sam. If you thought one de Villiers was bad enough to deal with, there might be another one out here in 20 years' time causing all sorts of trouble, this time with the ball.